morning. Good morning. And welcome to Golden Gate University's graduation of 2014. Yay! Everybody can sit. To begin the ceremonies, I would like to introduce Kaven Hambria, a Fulbright Scholar graduating with a Master of Science and Human Resources. Thank you so much. It's Kavena Hambida. But no, hey, I, I appreciate the attempt. <laughs> Let me firstly welcome family and friends, distinguished faculty, guests, alumni, trustees, administrators, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2014. Give yourselves a round of applause. So here we are, standing on the cusp of this new horizon that is our commencement ceremony. While most of you can't believe how quickly time flew by, I'm sure that some of you are wondering why it took so long to get here. <laughs> Yet irrespective of time, we should all just take a time, just take a moment to appreciate the fact that after years of spending tireless hours in the library, trying to meet those countless deadlines, we are finally here. We did it. Now, as an international student from Namibia, attending Golden Gate University has been one of the most fulfilling experiences of my life. Not only did I have access to a world-class education, like many of you, I met some incredible people along the way. Many of these classmates have forged part of your professional network. Others became good friends, while the lucky few amongst us even met the loves of their lives. GGU's convenient location provided a great vantage point for living in the Bay Area. And apart from its diverse inhabitants and scenic vistas, I was also drawn to its fanatical sporting culture. Choosing to support the San Francisco Giants as my official baseball team. Uh-huh. Wait, wait for it. In the interest of fairness, I embraced the Oakland Raiders during football season. I know, that was my first mistake. Apparently, San Francisco and Oakland are actually two very separate cities. And I still remember the conversation with my friend Sam and Dave, and they say, Cav, you've got to pick a team. Otherwise, and I quote, it's hella shady. <laughs> but whether you're here as an international student, out of state, or a local California native, understand that by sitting here today, you've all made a considerable investment in your future. You know, this occasion actually reminds me of a very famous quote from a fellow Southern African, Mr. Nelson Mandela. I believe you're all familiar with him. And it quotes, it goes as follows, it reads as follows, I quote, after climbing a great hill, one only finds that there are many more hills to climb. You see, graduating from Golden Gate probably won't mean the end of working tireless hours or meeting countless deadlines. In achieving this milestone and reaching the top of the hill today, be prepared for the challenges of tomorrow. Now, as a fellow member of the student body, I also don't think it's my place to dispense advice. But since it's commencement and we're all dressed up, I'll make an exception. <laughs> so whenever you're faced with adversity in your future, I want you all to remember this very moment as you sit here. Think about the many challenges you've had to overcome in order to reach this point, and know that you have the strength within you to not only endure, but to succeed. If you don't believe me, look no further than this podium. I don't often share this about myself, but the fact is, I was born in a refugee camp. When I was four years old, I was separated from my parents and moved to East Germany as a stateless person. Two years later, I was reunited with both parents and stepped foot in my home country for the very first time. Not speaking a word of English and armed with a plethora of German mannerisms, I slowly assimilated into a culture and comfortably completed high school. I then moved to South Africa, pursued a degree in my chosen field, 
and enjoyed moderate success in Namibia's corporate industry. Today I'm standing before you as a Fulbright scholar receiving a master's degree from our beloved Golden Gate University. So I can't stress this enough, that although the hills in our lives represent many challenges, always remember what you have overcome here at GGU. We've endured those late nights, those short weekends, and countless hours in the library for a good reason, because today you, my friends, are equally receiving your degree from GGU. Despite the challenges that may lay ahead, know that your experience here has fully prepared you to help you along the journey up the next hill. Friends, speaking before you today in front of our esteemed faculty, your family and friends has indeed been a privilege. But the true honor is being amongst you as a member of the class of 2014. Congratulations. Thank you, Kavena.